Right then, hustle is so back. Today's job. Been a bit quiet lately. I ain't gonna apologise. I've just been doing a lot of service, and I don't know if you guys want to sit and watch me service boilers because it is uh, boring. But one of the contracts we've got just to get a few weeks time. Up. Nevertheless, I'm always done that now. Job one today, city centre of Hull. We're in a block of flats, hence why I'm in a lift. What I'm doing is I've come to a shower screen that's leaking. Need to get this repaired, so we've come to it. We'll go in now. Show you what's what. So Dale's come down with me today as well, just to show us what, what we've done in this bathroom, it had a really serious bad leak. So what I'm doing is I've let this wall dry out now. So that's had a couple of days of drying that sand. I need to just support that with a few more screws. We're going to re-plaster board this full wall, a bit more insulation in there. Uh, and then the, the tray leg onto a bit of support there. And then it's going to be literally wet wall panel it just to make it watertight and put it back in. Now, again, job for landlord, isn't it, Dale? They'll just want this doing. It ain't really the bare minimum for anything we're doing going above and beyond here, aren't we? I think you'd be surprised at the end result. I think yeah. personally it's the wet wall panelling that I chose. It's rank, but yeah. anyway. Let, them... Let the fans decide. The when you see it, leave a comment. So I think we're somewhere, not that one, where that one there. So we're up there. Yeah, we are. Bit of distance, but city centre parking at its best. And one thing I want to tell all your fans about, Dale, Dale goes on about shut up going on what you van. If you rack your van out right, Dale, what can you do? More work, be more productive. Put full sheets of plasterboard in, mate. <laughs> Before I say it again, being organised is critical in anything that you do. My van is loaded with fully charged batteries, so I need one of these. Oh, well, they're fully charged as well. Look at them, got all these batteries, boom. So I'm set up now, trestles are up. Dale just took a bit of plasterboard upstairs, got a load of plasterboard cut down, ready to go. That's the last bit to go up. Where's my sex? So, there she is. <sighs> so what I need to do, I'm going to keep that space there because I've still got to cut the panels down and stuff. But what I do need to do is I've got to put some ply inside the wall because where we've had to cut the plasterboard joint, uh, it's not going to work. So I'm literally just going to drill, cut some of this down into sections, put that into the wall. And then once we get that screwed up, yeah, good to go. We're cut, we're done. What is your favourite power tool brand? No clues. The wall. What? You what? Do you want to screw it? <laughs> I think I go on about this inverter time and time again, but we don't rely on people's customers' power. We rely on Nathan Caprani's power, don't we, Dale? Yeah, that's why his van's always dead. <laughs> it's all about being prepared. Dale's got a decent pair of jump leads, haven't you, Dale? I've jumped it off once with that battery. I had to put some wire to it and jump it off. Do you reckon I could do it? Honestly, I did. Let's just keep the power in the van. <laughs> so, all strengthened up now. What I've done, you can see here, is I've cut some ply, screwed it in, and I've sad screwed it to there like that. So what I'm going to do now, get some insulation put in there, and then get the plasterboard to put back on, then we can start getting ready to get panelled up, like I say, secure that tray a little bit better. We're making do, client wants, client gets. Right, so plasterboarded, so going to put a little PV on now. Do not look at this. I put the bloody plasterboard on to cut it a little bit bigger that valve, and then as I pushed it on, I wasn't aware that, that was protruding forward, so it's pushed it forward, but look, it is what it is. It's all supported now. See? Walls absolutely solid. We can literally PVA that now, seal it all up, scratch the rest of that tile bits off there, and then uh, get this on. I've scratched all the mastic off the tray, so that's all cleaned up. <coughs> I've swept my box off, but management's here. Gonna bring me some water or something out of because I'm, I'm gasping, mate. Open to <laughs> So I've transferred my first measurements 36 inches across, 84 inches and three quarter. Panelling to the side there, I'm going to get it picked out of here. So, the Caprani fans want to know, Dale, do you think the Caprani fans will like the board that you'll pick? Because I'll be honest, it's rank. Let them decide. It looks better than the plain white. I think the cardboard looks more appealing. When it's on and it's in situ, that's when you can judge. Fair play, fair play. And do you know what, mate? It's just nice to be out of there. It's I know. Boiling in there. It's got to be at least 42 degrees. It's like Q8 in there, isn't it? Well, there we go, sports fans. So, Dale's gone for... The sparkly white effect. It's, I don't know what, actually. It's not that bad. I don't think it's that bad, mate, I'll be honest with you. Mate, I've got some right static on me. I can feel it on my body. Oh, it didn't work, thank fuck. So I hate getting static shock. It's horrible. So what I'm going to do now is measure this up. Can you not feel it? You put your hand over it like the static on. It's horrible. 
So 36 inches across and then 84 and three quarter top to bottom. So I'll get my set set up for this again, get this cut down and uh, jobs are good. And I'll be honest with you, Dale, in retrospect to what you said earlier, it does look horrendous up there. But when it's done, I'll be honest, what do you think? Do you mean that? No, I mean, it, it does look bad and it, it will look mint when we're done with it, won't it? It's all I chose it, I told you. Respect. Is it going? Is it recording? Now it is, yeah. Sports fans, punchers. Dale, do we need them? What's a punch, sir? The one that we bought and that we put in the skip. What a waste of money that was. Well, no front we all Milwaukee. Blade depth set up correctly. What's that? Oh. What was that face that you was pulling when you was doing it? I get George. Well, I won the situation, George. This is about as straight as George. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want my honest opinion, the Cox 3700 is an absolute great mastic gun. It comes with great features, single finger strength, just use it, pull it, do it, whatever you want to do it. Get Dale, hook it on his pants, whatever you want to do. What we tend to go for in these situations, though, is the old Milwaukee, because when you're doing a lot of masking like this on a job, that is unreal as a battery level indicator so battery them trump batteries are more than amicable for it more than do what they need to do she's good to go so i'm gonna get this loaded up now we bought some stuff from the suppliers they said to us basically use this stuff for the bees knees i tend to use uh you'll see my little mastic holder what i did here the old ct1 i've got ct1 white clear ob1 bit of corking i bought some little uh solid them oh, ct1 them on just some little solvent caps just so when you put them on it holds them because if not the fly all over but we're going to be using this grip bond pro max it's quick curing solvent for odorless yada 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 bang that into there job to go don't forget to reach for little big wipes as well well they're the best wipes ever on the mark i'm not joking yeah absolute the bees knees the first panel's in i've just got to stick it back but you see what we've done we've made it nice and tight up there i've got to put the corner trim in and that'll just be a bit of the corking across the top 10 mil bead down there but to a fair wee deal You've not done a bad job. I think you've picked a decent... I think the more and more you see it, the more and more you like it. When I looked at it, it looked like an old people's home toilet. Yeah. But now it looks like a high-end bathroom suite in Hull City Centre. That people will pay longer to live here for. It's all about. And what we said before, profit's not there. Where is it? Absolutely not. Yeah, I love it. All in one press, that. Clever, isn't it? No, one press does it all. So, it's half one, isn't it, Dale? Yeah. We have to go. I'll let Dale through one of our commercial sites. We've had a bit of an incident. Fire. So, we need to pop and make sure everything's safe because we are firemen trained as well. We do four days on, four days off. And these days off now on the plumbing side. But we didn't want to tell your fans, did we, Dale? No. But we are firemen. Registered. First day trained. I don't know if you would make it to firefighter, though. <laughs> Why not? Need to get in that team a little bit more, lads. Show your belly. No, because you'll be embarrassed <laughs> when I do. <laughs> Anyways, I'll show, I'll show you my belly. You show me your belly. Go on then. I'm all right. No, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> so she's panel trims are on. I've just got to do it at the top. So we're gonna have to leave now, like I say. But in all honesty, out of ten, I can't moan. Strong eight. Yeah, I've cleaned the trap as best as I can, but again, I'll come up to that door, come up there. Dale's show's on fire today. If I'm honest opinion, I wasn't that happy with it, but now, Dale, I've put the tray on some marine plaid legs because they were shocking, jacked on the floor, was overstretched, done that. And you can see there, mastic tin, to be fair. It looks the part, and I think it'll do for today. Just got to seal the top up, get the screen on. The lads and the Dale have been, to be fair, and fair play to them. Started making this great. Now, it's an occupied flat. So all us to do now is put that end profile on, then put all the stuff on, like I say. The only bad thing with this is I know that lads have collected the rubbish already in the front instructions. Yeah, man. They're the fittings. Well, that'll be fun. fun I've then. got experience and knowledge I know what to do with you. I'm glad one of does, because George done. <laughs> yeah, George. And if you're watching this, he still hasn't passed his favourite test at fourth time ago. Did he pass on his... So this morning, said to Dale, me and Dale, so look, we'll give you 20 quid right now in the office... I've half an hour, do a little test, pass it. He went, oh, I don't know who's me. What score did he get? 34 out of 50, and the pass rate's 43. Jesus Christ, man. 
So what he's been revising on as well is 10... Special for young parents and young people at the age draft. He's been doing the vision on 10 questions at a time, hasn't he? Yeah, on specific subjects. But if it was me, I'd just keep doing mock yeah. tests and mock tests. There's and only mock... so many questions I can ask. So I mean, don't revise, just keep testing yourself and be like, aim to achieve. That's the motivational way of the day, they last night off. Aim for success. Strive for excellence. Yeah, you got another one. I'm waiting on you. Nah, nah, I can't do that. Just there. I'll go on Wednesday, so. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in, Milwaukee.